Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Muslim Council of Hong Kong Ramadan Reminders 2024. We continue reflecting on Allah's beautiful names and attributes. And today's reminder is Al-Khaliq, the Creator. This name is often associated with other names and attributes of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to make it a complete chain. Al-Khaliq, the Creator, Al-Bari, the Originator, Al-Musawwir, the Fashioner. This combination of three names is found in the Quran in Surah 59 verse number 24 where Allah said Huwa Allahul Khaliqul Bariul Musawwir lahu al-asma'ul husna He is Allah the creator the inventor of all things the bestower of form to him belong the most beautiful names This means that Allah alone created the whole creation He invented all the things that existed and through precise execution and perfect uh, planning he brought them into existence at a suitable time for them he measured his creation with the best of measuring and made them with the most precise making he guided them for the benefit and gave them the character that suit them Imam Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah said Al-Khaliq is the creator who give measure to all things with his wisdom Al-Bari is the originator of who bring things into being after being nothing Al-Musawwir is the fashioner who bring the creation into a shape that he wills according to his wishes Subhanallah So the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unlike anything that we do because if for us creation we want to create something we will take element from nature that are already in existence created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we combine them to produce something as for Allah he bring them from nothing and we also find mentioned in the Quran the intensive form of al khaliq which is al khalaq the ever creating so here we understand that the creation the purpose of creation by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a continuous process and uh, in the Quran in surah 15 verse number 86 we find that Allah said inna rabbaka huwal khalaqul alim verily your lord is the all knowing creator in surah yasin uh, surah number 36 verse number 81 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing a defeating argument against the disbelievers who are questioning whether they will be brought back to life after they are born become dust. Allah responded, he said, "Yes indeed, he is the all-knowing supreme creator." Bala wa huwa al-khalaqul alim. So the creator here bring things into existence from nothing. Allah is also reminding this one in surah yasin verse number 71 do they not see that we have created them for them of what our hands have created subhanallah and then another aspect that should be brought to our attention Allah is asking a rhetorical question in the Quran in surah fatir chapter 35 verse number 3 he said hal min khaliq khairullah Is there any other creator other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Obviously there is none. In Surah Luqman verse number 10, after mentioning the creation of the heaven without pillars that we can see, the creation of the earth and setting upon the earth mountain so that the earth will not shake, and also spreading throughout the land different type of creation, the animals, the insect, the the plant and the every other being Allah is asking that has a khalqullah he said this is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show me that which those whom you worship beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created the wrong doers the polytheists those who associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are in plain errors indeed there is nothing that has been created apart from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself did in the first place Allah did not create the creation without a purpose for vain 
he mentioned this one also in the Quran. Afasiptum annama khalagnakum abasa wa annama ilayna la turjaun fa ta'ala Allahu al-Malikul Haqq la ilaha illa huwa Rabbul Arshul Karim. Do they think that we created them in play, in vain, without any purpose? No, we created them and to us we will be, you will be brought back. So we should direct all our worship to the true creator, the king, to whom all worship is due. We should not associate any partners with Allah. We should recognize his might and direct our surrender to him. Jazakumullah khairan for watching and for sharing the video. And please do watch tomorrow's reminders as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.